Let me tell you what, 25 feet, 11 inches, roughly 5,600 pounds of just beautiful rear bath couple opulence. This is the RV to take when you say, I want the creature comforts of home, and we're an adventurous couple. We want to go see the country the safest way possible in our brand new Keystone Cougar Half Ton 22 RBS. Let's go. Let me tell you, Keystone is known for just that great, that, that great quality construction. And for years, they've been one of the top selling travel trailers, the luxury brands. I mean, you just, just know what you're getting is a great product. Let's start in the rear of this 22 RBS. I can't say enough about the Cougars. I am a huge fan. You got solid wood construction on these glazed shaker style cabinets. Now this is the driftwood decor and you'll notice you even have the hideaway hinges in your storage back here. It can be ward storage. It can be pantry storage. It can be whatever you need. Just know that you got enough space of it in an RV that's only 25 feet, 11 inches. This is a couple's coach, even though you could sleep four. And I'll show you what we mean here in just a minute. Fuse box as well as LP O2 detector down there. And since you do have the Keystone Cougar, it also comes with the Generation 3 in-command system. Controls everything from your pumps, your heaters, your HVAC, your slides, your awnings, uh, the lights. And the best part about it is you can do it from your cell phone. Very nice little feature. Solid door that's going to lead us into the rear bath of this 22 RBS, which I don't even really think is the calling card of this unit, to be honest with you. So you got the hyperdeck flooring all the way throughout this coach. You got that tough lock duct joints on the heating system going all the way around. Plus you got the blade air conditioning system. I mean, just Great, 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 great. High barreled ceilings, over 80 inches of height. Some storage back here nestled in the side. I'm gonna be just talking about stuff during this one, so I hope you can hang with it. Got the light, got your towel rack right here. High rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush right there. You got the undermounted stainless steel single basin vanity sink with those brush nickel fixtures around here in the bathroom. Plus I got the raised lips on my medicine cabinet, GFCI outlet. And I like that it's undermounted because you got this press surface countertop here. You don't get that, that lip with the seal around it that can rot out and get dirty. So you just clean up, just swish it down in there. A little storage right there. Plus the Neo angled glass enclosed shower. Very nice. I got the skylight inlay right here. I do have my vent and fan right there. Brush nickel on my shower handle. My controls right here. Plus I got my corner notches. I am not cramped left or right. So look, even Bobby could get in here if he wanted to. We come into the main living area and right here on the campsite, we got almost this little neo angled L shaped kitchen. I like it because the driftwood decor not only looks good, you got the molded edges on this pressed surface countertop, undermounted stainless steel 50 50 sink with the cutting board and drying rack, high rise faucet with the sprayer, large window. I got the bar lip right here. I got the Furion three burner cooktop that is flush mounted with the glass cover. Plus I got the 21 inch Furion oven and plenty of not only counter space, but storage space, this beautiful rustic distressed looking decor on my doors. I'm a fan of that. I mean, you just got space for days. Just good stuff, man. Good stuff. Plus you got the pot and pan drawer under there. You got some drawers over here. You got the bar top right here. So if you had some chairs, you could just sit right here and just kind of, kind of hang out. To me, this living area is the calling card of the 22 RBS. I got my large LED TV on a swivel so I could watch it from anywhere in the coach or make it my private bedroom viewing. I got my Furion AM FM command center with CD and DVD. It's also Bluetooth and you got the USB. Uh, I got my privacy curtain right here, which this is what I mean when I say couples coach, because this is your privacy. If you've been wanting, you know, if you got to bring the kids with you and they're loud or you're going to have some, some company with you, that's your privacy right there. 
that's what you get. It's like what them shoes doing down there. So if you need separation of space, this ain't it. Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet AC right here with the quick cool dumps. Like I mentioned in the bathroom, you do have the blade distribution system, which distributes that air more evenly, more effectively. You get roughly 20% more airflow. You got your filters right there as well. You also got that 35,000 BTU ducted furnace on this bad boy. And this comes with the Solar Flex 200 watt panel on top. What that means is you have inverted outlets that will run off of solar power. Just like our lights are running right now. We do not have this thing plugged into shore power. We do not have it plugged into a battery. It will run off that 200 watt solar panel, just like your 12 volt Norcold fridge freezer combo that we have right here. You got the, this controls the fridge, this controls the freezer. This is night mode and what that does, that just runs the compressor at 50% load for about eight hours. But plenty of room, plenty of space, vibration smart, uh, frost resistant, and 12 volt. So I always tell people, sure, it'll run off the panel, but it'll run off the coach batteries too. But get that solar quick connect to charge, to trickle charge your battery while you're running, because 12 volt does do a lot of pull. Carpetless slides, and I got my U-shaped dinette nestled into the slide with some of the largest panoramic in-class windows you're gonna find inside of a travel trailer. Decorative slide with five feet, eight inches of height. I got my mushroom lights, and my main light here is on the dimmer. So, if you wanna sit here with your loved one, maybe take a look at this moon as it's setting down by the beach, and you want to sip your nice little drink that you just made over in the bar area and you want to cut the lights down a little bit. You can, you can do that. Don't touch me. Now we come into the main master area, king size bed right here, strut supported storage underneath. And I got the nightstands with the 110. Once again, both of those are inverted. Plus I have the dual USB charging. I got the frosted glass inlay right here from my storage lip, mirrored ward storage on both sides. But this to me is what makes this just so cool. Cause I want you to think about this for a second. Imagine you're with your loved one, you're out at the beach and you got a cup of coffee in hand and both of you are sitting there peering out over the water as either it's the sun's coming up or the sun's going down. That's memory making and it's privacy windows. You can only see one way. Awesome. I'm a fan of the cool gars. So that's pretty much it for the inside. I mean, there's tons of features, pre-wire for Wi-Fi, speakers, you know, 4G LTE extensions on there as well. It, look, it's opulent. It's your home away from home. We've seen the inside. So what do you say? We go take a look at the outside. So here we are on the outside of the all new Keystone Cougar half ton. 22 RBS. Let's start right up front. Powered tongue jack by Lippert twin 30 pound LP tanks. That beautiful automotive coating on that fiberglass end cap with the LED run lights and the privacy window. Plus you got the little mini diamond plate rock guard underneath. All sets on this beautiful single welded aluminum frame. Battery box right there behind my LP tanks as well. Now over here, you are set up for the Furion side vision, which goes along with that uh, Furion backup camera. Great little feature to have for additional safety and security while going down the road. Magnetic anti-slam doors and covered hinges on all of your pass-through storage, which is finished off. Get your in-command system. Don't touch that, leave that alone. We'll get to that stuff over there here in a minute. There you see that tubed aluminum frame. Underneath, we do have a heated and enclosed underbelly, as well as the PSX-1 stabilizing jacks on this 22 RBS. Large awning with the LED light strip, those marine grade external speakers, sealed tinted safety windows all the way around this coach. If you want to set up some outside entertainment, you got your key TV multi-source connection right there, which is a smart port. So if you got the cable plugged in uh, and not the satellite, the port will know which one's which. You can just plug it in and rock and roll. You're not chasing cables. Plus your inverted outlets are you even have one outside, which runs off of that solar flex 200 watt panel up there. Beautiful aluminum rims, nitro fill tires here. Those Dexter easy lube axles, that extra wide berth down there, giving us some additional safety and security while going down the road. Plus you got the solid steps leading into the main entry point, four by four sewer hose storage, 
Right here are all your cable connections, your satellite connections. You can run the cable out, plug it in right there, AKA the key TV. Plus we got a solid ladder with the handles going over the top, mounted on the back of this to give you that additional safety and security when getting up there and checking the roof. Set up for backup camera prep. You got the hitch right there. Spare tire mounted on the back. You got your 30 amp plug right here. You got the back of your Dometic 35,000 BTU furnace right there. Just be careful with that vent, don't block it up. You got the True Fit slides on this one as well. What you can see are the rack and pinion through frame slides. What's great about the True Fit is not only are they true to fit, it really helps secure the, the entry and exit of this slide, but they're also insulated all the way around. Docking station for your water connections, as well as your tank flush, boop, your tank vent, your city water connection, and your external shower with hot and cold. Now, you, I'd mentioned a couple of times now that we do have the Solar Flex 200 watt solar panel up there, but this is another great addition. This is the 10 amp quick connect for the solar charge panels. Get that, that'll help trickle charge the battery, keep everything rocking and rolling so you don't run out of power. Now, in here on the other side of the pass through storage, you will see the controls for your power stabilizer jacks, the front and the rear, as well as your charge controller right here. What that does, that just lets you know while the solar is plugged in and the battery is charging, where are we at? Are, are, are we at that point where we're at the load? Are we floating? How is the level there? Plus we are set up already for inverter prep there as well. But the most important part of any RV, minus the magnetic anti-slam doors with the covered hinges, is this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? For example, uh, the unloaded weight on this one, 5590, gross vehicle weight on this one, 7,200 pounds. Plus, as far as the tanks go, Bobby, I think we just passed right by them back there on the rear, I do apologize. You got 60 and 30, 30 on this one. You got a 60 gallon fresh, 30 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. Great space for going off the grid with all that solar. But you take this information, 5590 and 7200, you take that to your specialist at Camping World in Gander and you say, hey, what does that mean? Because here's what my vehicle can tow, here's how many people I need to sleep, uh, is this right for me? I mean, for a coach that's temperature rated zero to 100 degrees, you can go deep three season, full of luxury features that you're really gonna be hard to find on other RVs, but for that adventurous couple that wants the creature comforts of home with them, 25 feet, 11 inches, 5590 dry weight, put this at the top of the list. Absolute top of the list. If you're that active couple, maybe you got small kids, you're okay with not having too much separation of space, put this at the top of your list. Leave me some comments down below though and let me know what you like about the Keystone Cougar, what do you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young from Camping Warden Gander. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Until then, Come check out an RV, because they're fun. I'll see you.